Hey, I'm talking with Kenneth Cloak, and I'm going to ask Ken, as president of Mediators Beyond Borders, to read a poem that's a favorite of mine from his book, Mediating Dangerously. Copy of the book. The poem is by Kenneth Patchen. The best hope is that one of these days, the ground will get disgusted enough to just walk away, leaving people with nothing more to stand on than what they have so bloody well stood for up to now. Thank you, Ken. To me, that epitomizes the importance of the upcoming Copenhagen climate change negotiations and conference. And I'd like to take you to your expectations and most fervent hopes for that conference. And I'd like to frame it as when we're leaving the conference and we're in the airport lounge and I say, Ken, you said things went just exactly as you'd hoped, more than you'd hoped. Can you tell me what you hope will have happened during the conference? My hopes actually run a gamut. The simplest level of hope is that the parties to the Copenhagen conference will actually reach an agreement regarding climate change that will be successful. In order to do that, my hope is that they will incorporate mediation into their final agreement. Because without mediation, it's quite clear to me and to other conflict resolvers, I think, around the world, that uh, uh, disputes will occur between the parties that will become intractable. Uh, and the process of addressing this difficult and important issue will slow and perhaps grind to a halt. And we can't afford for that to happen. My most fervent desire, if you want to know what my deepest level of hope is, is that the participants in the Copenhagen conference will realize that the 100 mediators from 17 countries who are coming there with Mediators Beyond Borders are a precious resource that can actually help them in the moment reach agreement. So my hope is that someone comes out of a meeting where people have been unable to reach agreement and says, uh, can you come and help us? And we're able to come in, uh, a group of us, and assist them in reaching an agreement where otherwise they might not have been able to do so. Thank you. That, that's, that's our fervent hope. And I, could you say a little bit about what you hope the process will be? I mean, there'll be 11,000 people at Copenhagen, a lot going on, a lot of people interacting with people. Can, can you tell me how you'd like, like that to feel at the end of the conference? We had teams from Mediators Beyond Borders who went to the Bangkok conference, uh, which was a very small team with a much smaller group of delegates and another team that went to the Barcelona conference before Copenhagen on the same topic, another small conference with a smaller group of people. And in both of those, uh, we were able to make significant uh, um, uh, inroads into the understanding of the delegates of what mediation actually is. It is. And this is my hope, is that we will be successful in reaching people and convincing them that this is a useful method for them to discuss their differences and work together. The reason is because in order for climate change uh, uh, efforts to be successful in reducing the danger that we face, it's necessary fundamentally for people to learn how to talk to each other, how to solve problems, how to negotiate collaboratively, and how to resolve their disputes. Thank you. That's the idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.